right, first up on the show today, we have US-based AI startup Pivot Robots. They've recently raised an undisclosed sum from an early stage venture fund, New Ventures. Uh, prior to this, um, the founders were in robotics teams at companies like Meta, Google and Uber. Siddhartha Girdhar, who is the co-founder, we've also got Vignesh Rajmohan, a co-founder at Pivot Robots, now both joining in. Good to have you both, gentlemen. Congrats on the fundraise. Siddharth, any details that you can divulge in terms of the amounts that you've raised and take us through what it's going to be used for? Um, Avan, unfortunately, at this time, we can't reveal the amount. It's a bit too early, but we've raised a good amount to enable us for the next two, three years to be able to build our robotics capability. We are mostly using the funds in enabling key hires, especially in the positions of artificial intelligence as well as computer vision. So Vignesh, um, give us a better sense as to what the company does because you're really leveraging AI vision to automate industrial robots. And this is, you know, really amalgamating the world of manufacturing as well as AI and technologies. You're automating a lot of labor intensive tasks from what I understand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Siddharth and I have both worked at companies that build robotics, uh, for example, like Uber ATG that did uh, self-driving cars and everyday robots at Google. And we found that the best use of robots, even today uh, and as it was before, is always in dull, dirty, and dangerous tasks that people should not be doing. And um, right now we found that you know, for the past 50 years, uh, robots have been great at doing rep repetitive tasks on the same object every single day, like in car manufacturing sites. And now we're using AI to enable robots to be able to adapt to more uh, high mix tasks, meaning tasks that have diversity in the uh, the products that we're going to be interacting with. Um, so now we can uh, support more than just a simple point to point, the exact same thing every single time we're able to adapt to changes throughout the day and throughout the week and year. Sure, and Siddharth, you know, currently you guys are focused in the U.S. markets. What's the game plan to expand to a larger manufacturing hub like India, for instance, over the long haul? So obviously the long-term vision is to come into India. I'm Indian, I have strong ties over there. And we also have new ventures who've invested in us as an Indian firm with good connections, especially, especially in our industry, which is the foundry industry. With the Make in India initiatives, um, it's great to see a lot of manufacturing happening in India. And it's definitely great to see that the um, manufacturing has become more efficient. But in the long term, for us to be able to compete with other countries, we will need to be able to rely on advanced technologies that allow us to get a lower cost basis for the labor, as well as higher quality. Um, when we think our products are ready in the US, um, which is just a more easier market to enter for robotics, in the, then in the future, we will come to India. We're thinking about two, three years at this time. Sure, and Vignesh, um, you know, give us a sense as to what made you guys leave, you know, some very well-established companies like Meta, Google, Uber, and what made you start out on your own? What kind of expertise and experience did you garner from those roles? Of course, yeah, uh, awesome question. Uh, speaking for Sid and myself here, um, we both saw that there were really cool, uh, really cool technologies being built for tasks that um, weren't truly like uh, in great necessity of being automated yet. Um, these are tasks like, uh, you know, everything from uh, just self-driving all the way to uh, uh, wiping tables. And uh, although those are cool initiatives that generate great technology, uh, we found that there are a bunch of tasks that uh, are desperately in need of automation that people find pretty dirty to interface with. And we thought that this was a great opportunity that's just sitting there and uh, we wanted to go and grab it. Um, and like and adding a bit more on to that, I think um, Vignesh and I have been met together at Carnegie Mellon, one of the best universities for robotics. And we've also spent a lot of time like at Uber ATG and Google X as robotics projects. So just looking at um, top robotics places, learning from the best people and learning the best practices, that's really um, given us the confidence, I think, to start our own things now. So Siddharth, which are some of the clients that you're currently working with? Yep, so currently our clients are mostly um, manufacturers who have a need for surface finishing. Especially at the moment, we are focused on um, cast iron foundries, but we're expanding to other manufacturers in the same domain. 
Sure, and would there be any clarity in terms of your um, financials, in terms of how much you're making by way of revenue run rate, or are you a bit top positive uh, currently? I can take that. Um, I think we're a bit too early for this. We've been a company since mostly February, so it's a bit too early to get those numbers. At the moment, as a company, we are in the works with some major pilots, with some manufacturers, and we want to see the results of that before we start revealing this information. And what's the long-term growth plan that you would like to take us through? What's the vision? So I think long-term, our plan is to move beyond just surface finishing tasks and move to all kinds of tasks in manufacturing from like picking to um, defect detection to assembly um, and focusing on tasks that previously traditional robots couldn't automate just because traditional, automo uh, traditional robots relied on the task being simple. Most manufacturing involves complex tasks and that's the next frontier which we really want to tackle. Um, at the moment, we're not looking to fundraise as we just raised our seed round, but I think in a one to two year time horizon, we will be looking towards a fundraise. All right, thanks for that. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.